Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, we also thank God for yet another week for us to continue meditating upon the word of God, encouraging one another. It is important to put our trust and faith in God. God changes not. Our God never fails. He is such a faithful God. Mark chapter 6. Today we look at verse number 51 to verse number 53. The Bible says, Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they landed at Genezareth and anchored there. Praise be to God. When Jesus got into this boat, remember, he walks on the water, coming to rescue his disciples. And the disciples, the Bible says that they thought that this was a ghost coming to them. And out of fear and amazement, Jesus spoke to them and he told them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. And he later got into the boat. And this is when the wind ceased. This is when the wind died down. And the disciples here again, they were completely amazed. The Bible says in verse number 52, that for they had not understood about the loaves, their hearts were hardened. In other words, Jesus had performed other miracles to these people, and the particular miracle that is mentioned here is the miracle of the loaves. They had not understood about the loaves because their hearts were hardened. And so even when Jesus comes and uh, he gets into their boat and the wind dies down, they are still amazed. They, 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 they were not able to connect with the miracles that Jesus had performed to them previously. And as we look at this particular verse, we see that they lacked a moment of reflection. They did not get to that space of understanding that, yes, this is Jesus who is able to do everything, anything, and he has power and authority. They lacked that reflection and their hearts were hardened. The spiritual sensitivity was down. They could not connect with Christ at that space or in that level. And uh, it is a call to all of us to be taking a moment to reflect on what God does in our lives so that, unlike the disciples who really needed a miracle in the lake, at the middle of the lake, as the Bible says that later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake, who they, they, they needed such a miracle at this point. And instead of recognizing who came to rescue them, they had no understanding of who Christ was and they imagined or they thought this was a ghost. It's a reflection or a clear picture that even previously they did not take time to reflect on the deeds and the miracles that Jesus had performed in their lives. Today, as we begin the week, the Lord is encouraging us to ensure that in our lives we always take a moment to reflect on what God is doing in us, with us, and for us at all times. So that as he intervenes in our situations, instead of just getting amazed and completely amazed, we are able to connect with God in that space at that point that, yes, Lord, you have done it for me. Their hearts were hardened. May we allow our hearts to connect with God that even the previous interventions may also help us 
to continue counting on God even when we fall into various storms in life. Take a moment, reflect on the miracles of God, reflect on God's interventions in your life and your life will never be the same again. The Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely week. Have a blessed time. Shalom.